Did you know that interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans has left a lasting genetic impact, with a major study in the Nature Journal revealing that certain gene types influencing diseases today, like type 2 diabetes, Crohn's disease, and even smoking addiction, originated from such unions. As Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa, genome studies have shown evidence of mating with Neanderthals, although the exact implications of this Neanderthal DNA on human health were previously unclear. Between 2% and 4% of the genetic blueprint of modern non-Africans can be traced back to Neanderthal ancestry, which is a testament to the extent of this interbreeding. In a detailed analysis, scientists examined the genomes of 1,004 modern humans, and they pinpointed regions containing the Neanderthal versions of various genes. One surprising find was the discovery of a gene variant linked to difficulty in quitting smoking that traces back to Neanderthal origins. However, this doesn't mean Neanderthals smoked in their caves. Researchers believe that this gene mutation might have multiple functions, with the impact on smoking behavior being just one of them. Interestingly, Neanderthal DNA isn't evenly spread throughout the human genome, but is frequently located in regions influencing skin and hair. This uneven distribution hints that some gene variants allowed early humans to swiftly adapt to the cooler environments they encountered upon moving to Eurasia. Neanderthals, having lived in these cooler climates for hundreds of thousands of years before humans arrived, had already undergone significant genetic adaptations. At their peak, Neanderthals inhabited regions ranging from Britain to Siberia, but they eventually became extinct around 30,000 years ago, just as Homo sapiens were starting to spread from Africa. Regions of the genome responsible for regulating skin pigmentation showed traces of Neanderthal ancestry. Some scientists highlighted evidence that Neanderthal skin genes made Europeans and East Asians more evolutionarily fit, according to another study published in the Science Journal. Furthermore, genes responsible for keratin filaments, which provide toughness to skin, hair, and nails, were found to be enriched with Neanderthal DNA, possibly giving early humans an advantage in colder climates. Harvard Medical School's scientists postulated that Neanderthals, already adapted to non-African terrains, might have offered these genetic benefits to modern humans. However, it wasn't all beneficial. Some gene variants from Neanderthals have been linked to diseases like type 2 diabetes, long-term depression, lupus, biliary cirrhosis, and Crohn's disease. In terms of Crohn's disease, Neanderthals contributed markers that both increased and decreased the risk of this ailment. When queried if Neanderthals themselves suffered from these conditions, Scientists acknowledged the lack of in-depth genetic knowledge about Neanderthals, but hoped that future research might provide clarity. Scientists from University of Washington noted that the interbreeding occurred quite recently in evolutionary terms, so remnants of Neanderthal DNA would still be expected in modern humans. He believes that much of the Neanderthal DNA observed today could be the remnants of an extinct genome, slowly being purged from the human population. Yet, some parts of our genome are notably devoid of Neanderthal DNA, suggesting that certain genes might have had detrimental effects in the offspring of human Neanderthal pairings, leading them to be actively eliminated through natural selection. Scientists observed that there were extensive areas in the genome where modern humans had minimal or zero Neanderthal ancestry, indicating that these genes might have been harmful. Especially striking is the absence of Neanderthal genes in regions linked to the testes and the X chromosome, hinting that some hybrids of Neanderthals and modern humans might have faced fertility issues or were even sterile. This genetic incompatibility signifies that when Neanderthals and modern humans interacted and mated, they were on the brink of biological compatibility, as indicated by scientists. Moreover, a specific region lacking Neanderthal genes houses the Fox P2 gene, crucial for human speech, underlining the differences between the two species. Scientists believe that their findings are consistent with multiple interbreeding events between Neanderthals and modern humans over time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.